Dude, I don't know what it is with these buses always trying to turn around. Like, you can't turn around here. Oh my god. Okay, we need to stop him. Because we're not dealing with him getting stuck with his raining. <laughs> like, that shit's not happening. You ready to go? Yep. When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too <laughs> Mine's like stopping for a drink Matt's writing Bob Marley. Mine's Mercio. When you want to get off that darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down. Earth from a bird's eye view. You should grow feathers. To see this too When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Cut the leaves and they take it to the nest mm -hmm. Into the nest there is a queen yeah. The queen process the leaves to make fungus mm -hmm. And then they the fungus My feet hurt. It's hot as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted chicken feet right now. We are now covered in mud. Feels weird, man. I don't know if this is actually doing anything, but it's entertaining. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. It looks so funny. Don't you? No, oh, it's hot! Asshole! <laughs> 192 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. That's insane. Ew. You look like the monster. I am a monster. We just got back from our all day adventure tour. So horseback riding kicked our asses, but sliding down the waterfall was awesome. All right, you guys, it is now Friday. It's been rainy and gross all morning. It's now, what, like two o'clock? Mm -hmm. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, and of course now it's bright freaking sunshine and beautiful out. What are you gonna do? So, because it was gross, I decided to get somewhat glam because we are going out to dinner tonight. We're gonna go to where are we going? Seafood restaurant? Do you remember the name? Uh, it's like Marina or something. I, we'll we'll show you guys later. But decided to get a little glam. Actually, put some makeup and some lashes on today. Matt is currently playing. Okay. Well, attempting to play Here's the Storm. He's getting really frustrated because <laughs> our internet sucks. The abilities don't play for anything. I mean, so bad. we're in Costa Rica. Like, what do you really expect? Yeah. Ew, don't look at my contour. You're just mad I'm the cute one. Whatever. Dude, look at that glow, though. Yes! 
we have decided to go on a sunset walk up the hill, the hill of that Rome. way. So I'm just gonna let Matt kind of guide me, aka he might have to carry me. So <laughs> we'll see. That's a good one. That's not <laughs> happening. Like I don't think the camera quite captures just how steep this is. <laughs> So Costa Rica has totally taught me to appreciate little things like high speed internet. And burbs. Burbs, of course. <laughs> um, automatic transmissions in cars. That's one of the things that this place. Paved roads. Oh yeah, paved roads 100% because it's like all gravel and dirt roads here. Nice. Electricity that doesn't go out every two hours. I also appreciate having normal roads that don't go up at 90 degree freaking angles. Cause that's intense right there. I miss my dog. Oh, I miss my dog so much. Like, don't get me wrong, this place is absolutely incredible. It is so beautiful. But I do miss home a little bit now. <laughs> so this is the hill that I ran up the other day that my, my shins are still sore from. And this was before we went horseback riding. Yeah, I don't think the camera quite gets how steep this actually is. I feel like if I laid down right now, I'd be on a lounge chair. Yeah. Oh my god, there's more? Oh yeah, this goes way up. This hole doesn't joke around. I feel bad for people who buy their houses up here. This makes our hill look like a joke. So we're close to the top but the view is worth it. And you can really see the estuary from up here. That's where the crocodiles are. Yeah, this is crocodiles. where crocodiles live. There's some estuary tours you can do too. We opted not to, we did the catamaran instead. Whoa. Oh my God, there's a monkey. That's so big, there's a monkey right there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, looks like he's up to no know. good. Far far, look, there's another one. Barbed wire is very effective. You can, I see it. Barbed wire is not an effective monkey deterrent. Oh, that's so cool. I wish I could zoom in even more. Oh my God, that's so cool. We hear parrots at our house every day. Like the master bedroom, seriously, like we wake up every day at 7 a.m. because it's like, and then it's the howler monkey's like Rrr. it's like what the fuck is that? So this place is just it's insane. I cannot get over how incredible this is. Where? Look at him! Motherfucking monkey man. Oh my that. god, that's so funny. I cannot believe Look it. Let him go. Oh, he's about to go fuck up those people's houses. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, ah, tookie, tookie. I don't think they respond to that, Matt. That's a lie. Basically, there are like six monkeys right there. Dude, they're chilling. That's so sick. That's someone's front yard. Like, <laughs> it's hilarious. So now we are walking back to our house, aka Casa Ventana. And this Hiking. hill. Hiking oh, back. Like, not sure if highlight or sweat. <laughs> Probably sweat. Probably sweat. <laughs> Back to the dirt mobile. I actually have a new appreciation for this little tiny car because we can park anywhere because it's so freaking tiny. It, it even pulled a freaking bus out of our driveway because it got stuck over there. This little car is badass. Isn't that right, BBs? So funny. It's hilarious. It's awesome. Could. It's the little Hyundai that could. <laughs> At least we can turn around in our driveway though. Unlike the bus. That yeah, bus. We watch, got watch this. The camera. It's about to go flying. No, it's not. Okay, maybe it will. <laughs> so we're driving into town this time instead of walking, and we're gonna try to find parking. But we're a little nervous because people literally walk into the street, stand in the street, dogs just walk out. It's a little scary. People just but park. people here just, I mean, they don't give a fuck. They just park wherever they want. They make their own rules. Oh, the beach parking. It's a little insane. There we go. I don't know 
know what it is about Costa Rica, but everybody drives a fucking Tucson. Like we've everybody. seen so many Tucsons. Like I cannot get over it. It's everywhere we go. We've been into Liberia and there's still like Tucson, Tucson, Tucson. Like I don't understand. If, oh my God, are you serious? There's another one? There's more, like there, right holy shit, there's one there's here. One. That's one. There's one over there. There's one next to it. Like literally everywhere. Oh, yes. It is absolutely insane how many fucking Tucsons there are here. Coming to eat at Maria Alta, which is here. It's very cute. We just got our appetizer. We got Tico Ceviche. And we also got bread. Look at how delicious that looks. I got the mahi mahi with mango sauce. I got lobster tails with champagne sauce. It looks so good. It does look, it smells amazing. So, this is basically what driving through town looks like a whole lot of nothing and then a bunch of people on the road. Basically. And no lights. Yeah, there's barely any street lights. It's kind of strange. Babies. Are you sad or are you excited to go home tomorrow? I'm kind of both. <laughs> I know, I'm so happy to see my dog. I miss my dog so much. But look at how delicious this is. This place is amazing. And then our view, love it. Today is our very last full day and night here in Casa Ventana, Camarindo, Costa Rica. So probably not going to vlog too much today, we're just going to have a pool day. grocery store haul, either the little toy sloth, that's my little souvenir from Matt, his little foot says Costa Rica, how cute is he? I can't get over that. Or this little teeny tiny baby bottle of Smirnoff. I've never seen one that was this tiny and not like an airplane bottle. So cute. You stoopy. You stoopy. We're going on our last like date night out since it's our last day here. And we're going to Pangas. Panga. Panga, 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 panga. So we both agree that we have loved Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. However, we're super excited to go home because one, I miss my dog. Two, I miss my birds. And three, I really fucking miss my bed. All right, so Pangas is closed for a private event. Boo. Because it was so good the other day. So now we're gonna hop back into our clown car and try to find something else to eat. So went to bamboo, babies. <laughs> this place is so cool. It's outside, it's not on the beach like we wanted but it's sushi and we are literally the only people in here. It's really cool. So our sushi just came. Very rainbow. Good. A rainbow. Buenos, Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Pico. And that's plantain on top. It's hard to tell. so good. She is starving. I am so hungry. Like a bear. Like after this hibernation. so good to hear right now. Dig in, bruh. Okay. Should probably take the lens cap off. Over at the beach. I'm trying to watch sunset. I'm trying to. <laughs> Every time it's been cloudy. Yeah. There's a lot of boats out there. news they take credit cards I got Choco I got Choco Coco this time it's so good Claire got her vanilla strawberry again vanilla fresa 
Same thing. Tucson. 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 Another Tucson. That's cr they're all over it. Can't, can't get over it. All right, you guys. It's our very last night here at Casa Ventana. I hope you guys had a blast watching our vlogs. As much fun as we had vlogging it. So we're gonna go and pack our stuff because we're flying home tomorrow.